Hi, Alan. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm very, very jealous of your background and your room. Mine is so plain. <laughs> all the accoutrements and everything going on. And you have sunshine. In London, it's grey and, well, it's, it's grey every day in 2020. But hey, <laughs> uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. I uh, really, 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 really enjoyed it. I actually watched it during London Sundance. So I saw it first oh, okay. in, in the summer. So it was a while ago. So they've kept me in the loop, thankfully, to, yeah. to speak to you, which is fantastic. So congratulations on that. Uh, I, this, is your, this is your second film as a director. I just wondered, going in for a second time and having a bit of time between the first directorial movie that you did and this one, I wondered whether you'd found that anything had changed, whether you personally or kind of whether the whether the filmmaking, the way of filmmaking has kind of changed a lot in those years in between. Did you find it more of a challenge than you had anticipated? Well, I've, I've been directing a lot of television uh, between uh, the last movie I did and this one. So I've, uh, it hasn't been, it's not like there were 10 years before I actually, you know, sat in a director's chair again. But I did, you know, there's always new equipment. There's always new ways of shooting things. Um, uh, certainly, you know, we didn't, I'm sure people were using drones back when, uh, uh, back when I directed my first movie, but uh, this was my first time, you know, having, uh, doing a lot of drone shooting, um, which was fun. Uh, but it's still pretty much the same, the same process. And because a movie like this is, has we had such a short amount of time and so, and so little resources it was actually more bare bones than the television i've been working on um so it was getting back to a little bit of that guerrilla filmmaking uh you know uh, and necessity is the mother of invention and um it was it was a it was quite an adventure but it was a, it was a great experience do you think that do you think that helped this film in particular because of the story and the way that you told it that particular way of filmmaking as you said the kind of guerrilla style and independently financed and everything else did that do you think that helped the story that you then were able to tell the story the way you wanted it rather than getting a lot of money and then having to make maybe make changes that you ultimately absolutely absolutely yeah we we were basically pretty much on our own um because it was such a cheap movie to make and it also you know, we had such a short amount of time and everybody was, you know, wanting to wanting to do the best that we could do. It, it really did have a, you know, I know it's a cliche, but it really did have a feeling of being like a family. Uh, and um, especially when we got the extended family together for those scenes, uh, it was, uh, I think it helped. I think if it had been like a huge production with like lots of studio executives there and and you know, spending half a day just to get one particular shot because we had all the equipment that we that the DP wanted, uh, it would have been different. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I, I do think it worked out well for the movie. And obviously, you're you're sharing the film in a in a different way than maybe you had anticipated. Obviously, I know mm -hmm. Amazon is is a great platform and everything else, and. You, you may or may not be getting cinema releases given what's going on but how 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 does that make you feel given that the audiences obviously will be able to to watch this from at home D does that does that also give you a sense of joy in the sense that more people will be able to see it that maybe if it had been released in a few theaters around america and in the uk that the audience will be bigger and that it will actually get a lot more people to watch it than maybe you had in, in had maybe realized initially yeah, absolutely. I mean, I having seen the movie in uh, in theaters with packed, you know, with with full audiences, it's a really great ride. Uh, and audiences, you know, a big audience really, the humor really plays. Uh, so I was initially bummed that it wasn't going to get a theatrical release. Uh, but like you just said, more people are going to see it than would ever see it if it was just, you know, because I don't think it's a movie that would have a huge opening weekend and and break box office records, and that's of course what what theater uh, owners are looking for, and that's what studios are looking for. But this, uh, I I I do I, I am really happy that that so many people are going to see the movie more so than if it had just opened in theaters. Yeah, the Amazon route is your your equivalent of a hundred million dollar opening weekend, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope I hope people do seek it out because it's a it's a wonderful film. Thank you so much for your time and uh, thank stay you. safe. You too. Yes, Thanks, thank you. Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.